WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNet headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Monday, last Monday of the year, end of the decade. 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. And what's new? Markets in positive territory. Why not? It's been a banner year in 2019, almost setting some records in the S&P. We're up about 29 percent right now, 29.25 percent for the year to be exact. Right now, starting Monday off, S&P futures up four points, trading at 3241. NASDAQ futures up nine, trading at 87.92. That's the NASDAQ 100. Dow futures up 30 points, trading at 28,640. We've got some action in oil, got some action in bonds as well. The 10-year yield sitting at 1.937%. We'll start things off. Let's check out the VIX this morning. VIX trading at 1389. Pretty interesting to see some volatility priced into the market with the S&P basically about nine or 10 points off the all-time high. We'll jump over to the charts. We'll start things off with the indices. We'll start things off with the Dow 30. Dow 30 trading 28,639. We almost made it to 28,600 this morning. We're about 40 points off of that low. NASDAQ 100, 87.89. You back things up. Overnight Sunday evening, we're as high as 88.09. S&P 500 trading at 3241. Crude oil, as I said, getting a bid above $62. The price of crude trading at $62.18. Been quite a year for crude as well to the positive side. There's your gold contract holding steady. Gold at $15.15.49. Been a nice couple weeks for the price of gold. Back above $1,500 for the first time in a couple months. And the euro US dollar trading just under $112.11.96. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, as I mentioned it, Bonds with some action. 10-year yield topping 1.9% as December rate rise continues. And to pull up a chart of that bond, this is going to be delayed because, as you can see, there is your run. Even early this morning, you see the run from about 1.87%. Almost at midnight, you're now sitting 1.935% on the 10-year Treasury. What else you have fundamentally in the market? Not really a news event day before New Year's Eve, but how about Disney? The rise of Skywalker this weekend, taking in some additional funds. Disney now accounting for nearly 40% of the 2019 box office. That pretty much priced in though. You can see Disney looking to open about 25 cents in the positive at 146 after quite a year for Disney. Of course, Disney Plus, their streaming service beginning as well. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pizzamento at 9, coming back at 10, live programming all day at TFNM. We'll be right back.